Welcome to St. Malachy's The Actors Chapel for the second Sunday in Ordinary Time. our sins and bring us to life everlasting. both in heaven and on earth. Mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord said to me, you are my servant, Israel, through whom I show my glory. Now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him, and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, the Lord says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. 
Responsorial Psalm Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. I have waited, waited for the Lord, and he stooped toward me and heard my cry, and he put a new song into my mouth, a hymn to our God. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or offering you wished not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Holocausts or sin offerings you sought not, then said I, Behold, I come. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me, To do your will, O my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips, as you, O Lord, know. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. A reading from the beginning of the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Paul, called to be an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Sosthenes, our brother, to the church of God that is in Corinth, to you who have been sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be holy, with all those everywhere who call upon the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, their Lord and ours. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. John the Baptist saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. He is the one of whom I said, A man is coming after me who ranks ahead of me, because he existed before me. I did not know him, but the reason why I came baptizing with water was that he might be made known to Israel. John testified further, saying, I saw the Spirit come down like a dove from heaven and remain upon him. I did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptize with water told me, On whomever you see the Spirit come down and remain, he is the one who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. Now I have seen and testified that he is the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. This Sunday we hear different calls for different people. We hear a call in Isaiah. We hear a call to Paul and Sosthenes in the second reading. And the call for John the baptizer in the gospel reading. And all are called because all are equipped to go into the world and to make a difference, to make a change. There was a, an American poet, Edgar Allan Guest, who wrote a wonderful poem about what he referred to as equipment, what people are born with when they come into the world, and what they're called ultimately to do with it, because it's equipment given to them by God. The obvious things, feet and hands, a brain, a heart, but also equipment that comes from our willingness to listen to God call to us and to become all that we're capable of becoming, to fulfill and feel fulfilled and want to share that fulfillment with the other in our life because it's something good. And yes, the poem goes on and talks about all the different situations that one might find him or herself in, and how they have everything already that they need in order to be able to handle what is called from them. Early on in the year, it's good for us to stop and to reflect 
that we have been equipped, gifted, given opportunities to go and to make a difference in the world. And so what we do is we ask God once again to open us, that we might hear the call coming for each one of us, and that we might take inventory of what it is that we carry with us and that we can contribute to the world. It's very easy to get into a recital and rehearsal of what pains us or what our aches or illnesses are. It's easy to rattle off the list of doctor's visits that we have to make. It's not always so easy to stop and to number those blessings in our life that come as a result of our God having called us, loved us, and equipped us to serve him and to serve him well. May we find the grace then, going into this week, to do just that. Number those blessings and destine them for the help, for the salvation of all we meet in Christ. Let us profess the faith that unites us. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us together offer our petitions to our Heavenly Father. For leaders of the church, May God send his spirit to love and strengthen them as they minister to his people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all in authority, may God infuse them with his wisdom and grace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those who live with a burden of hatred or racism, May God grant them his loving comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those gathered here, may the Lord's teaching shape our lives in his grace, conform us evermore to his heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our loved ones who have died, May God invite them into their final resting place in his presence for eternity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We offer our prayers and ask that you answer them according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. O Lord, grant us, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from an unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into the Passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, Saints Malachi and Genesius, Cecilia and Vitus, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor are yours, forever and ever.
taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant peace and unity in accordance with your will, and live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord, pour on us the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you, and may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you and your loved ones. 
forever and ever. The Mass is ended. Go in peace.